just to give everybody a little bit more context to kind of under, understand at a big picture level, I mean, we all use a whole wide range assortment of different apps, whether we use, we have Gmail, we have Outlook, we have Google Docs, we have MailChimp, we have Zoom, we have Eventbrite, Facebook, LinkedIn. Again, uh, if you're in sales, you've, you've got a CRM. Um, we've got all Customer these different- relationship manager. That's, that's the word. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got all these different tools and apps and pieces that we use. And so the whole point of the automation is to get them connected and speaking to each other so that we don't have to manually move data between them that they can update and work with each other. Perfect. Okay. So let's go to the next thing, which is automation examples that reduce ours and clients headaches. Okay, so give us some more examples. So again, I thought it'd be really good just to help people to kind of understand this, what some different different examples, different situations where this could be useful, right? So one example is building a customer database, right? And so we had a, a client who was running a lead gen campaign and they wanted to organize all of their new leads in a way that was easy and simple to keep track of everything. So what we did is we set up a Google Sheet so every time that they got a new lead, Zapier basically zapped that user's information into the Google Sheet. It created a new row. And so it just kept adding people down the list. And so they could keep track of people's names, emails, phone numbers, whatever other information that they were collecting. And at the end of the day or at the end of the project, they had this, they had this complete spreadsheet that's like, here's all their new leads and so it was simple to organize but then also at the end of the project it was easy for us to just hand over that spreadsheet and say here's a list of all your new leads perfect and, again, and so the, you're gone going what, what, what? i was going to say we, we didn't have to manually move people over and organize the list and not only that what we we were able to do is early on look up each individual leads and start putting comments in that spreadsheet so it's like a super simple customer relationship management, not even a customer relationship, database is the right term. You can use it as a super simple, hey, did I call this person, that type of thing, right from there. You don't have to get into complicated things quite often. In fact, you don't want to get into complicated things when you're first starting off things. So you just want to say, and so what you were doing was you were actually saying, is you would look them up on LinkedIn or online, you say, is this person actually a bona fide good lead? Yep. And the answer was, you know, out of 10 of them, you know, as eight of them or nine of them were this one, we weren't sure because we weren't quite able to find them and so on and so forth. So you were able to really early on and put those comments in. So here's a, here's their LinkedIn profile. Here's the LinkedIn profile. Here's their website. And you're able to fill that in super simple, super easy, super uh, um, quick. Um, and that's the nice thing about the Google Sheet solution. And there is obviously a zap to the Microsoft um, uh, Excel online um, solution that they have. All right, next. So getting back into like a lead gen campaign example again, um, what we did is so client had a Facebook, LinkedIn lead gen campaign running. And so when somebody signed up, we would send an automatic email to the client. So it would go straight to the client, their sales team. So immediately they know, okay, we have a new lead. Uh, we can follow up with this lead, but also send an automatic email to the lead themselves. Um, and something that's kind of cool here is you could actually embed a video into that automated email, right? So just, just as an example, let's say it takes the sales team 15 minutes to follow up, get up, get on the phone and, and, and call the lead, right? You could put a video in that automated email 10, 15 minute long video that kind of introduces you, introduces the team, introduces a little bit about, um, you know, what you're up to, what the plan is. Um, and it'd even be really cool if in the video, the person who was gonna be making the phone call was in the video itself. So that then 15 minutes later, the person has now watched the video. They're like, all right, these guys seem pretty cool. And then when the person calls, they're like, all right, I already know who you are. Because I think a big part of why people don't like getting sales calls is we always have this feeling of like, all right, who's the person on the other side? What do they want? Are they going to try to trick me into something? And so in this way, you can kind of like, you can warm up the person to see like who you are and you're like, oh, they're like, oh, these are actually like reasonable, cool people. Yeah. I'd love to have a call with them. Yeah. Yeah. So you're basically increasing the touch points, the, the data points that the client gets 
that's to say, is this, what, what, what kind of business is this? This is legit. Is this something I'm, obviously they're kind of interested. That's why they, you got the lead, but now let's really see if we can position the conversation in the relationship. Love it. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. So one more example here, examples, updating, examples, examples. <laughs> updating MailChimp tags. So we had a client um, who in their MailChimp account, they, they wanted some very specific tags for each person. So let's say just for example, they had, they had active members, they had past members, members who had attended specific events. They could create these tags and create these segments. So whenever they were sending out new uh, email blasts, they could send it to exactly the right person. Now the trouble that they were having is in the CRM that they were using, client relationship management tool, um, they would they would change the, the status of the tag in, in the CRM, but then they would have to manually go to MailChimp, update the tags in there. And so what we were able to do for them is set up an automation so that whenever they updated the CRM, that immediately got zapped automatically to MailChimp and MailChimp had the new tag. So next time they're in there creating a new email, they just have to select the, the tag that they want to send it to and it's already up to date. Yeah. So, and, and that's, I mean, one of the things that's happening is there are so many great products, but we're not necessarily operating at an enterprise level. So we've got all of these, you know, 15 bucks a month products that are fantastic, but then we end up, if we're going to do things, taking it from one to the other. Now all of this stuff in MailChimp's out of date, but all my stuff in my thing over here is this way and, th and it just becomes a, a mess. So you just want to start stitching them together like a real enterprise product that, you know, an, an SAP solution costs millions of dollars. Obviously it's doing more than this, this, but part of it is it's supposed to integrate a lot of the stuff that happens so that if one thing happens in one, it, it's, it's centralized for the other.